In my experience, looking like a Christian turns out to be a pretty easy thing to accomplish. It takes a while to get the hang of, but after a while, it's honestly just like second nature. There's a, a, a litany of sorts, a, a way to talk, a way to dress, a, uh, which books to read, which issues to care about. I mean, there are even quite a few varieties to choose from. The fundamentalist, the emerger, the socially conscientious, each one with their own hairstyle and pop theologians and Bible translations. I mean, you're really free to express yourself and still look Christian. But the problem is, and don't get me wrong, all these outward things, there's nothing inherently wrong with them. I mean, feel free to support your local discount Christian bookstore, but the problem is that all these things can so exteriorize our faith that we forget what's happening inside us. Our faith becomes so carefully groomed and stylized that we let those outward things, the politics and the, the book of the week and the newest cause or the latest greatest worship album, we let them numb us from ourselves. And one day we're sitting there thinking, you know, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this Christian thing and we've, we've totally forgotten this mess of a heart that's inside us. And all I'm saying is, nothing that you do for your image is ever going to change your heart. In your heart, that's, that's all God really cares about. I mean, yeah, it's, it's frightening down there, but, you know, don't ignore it. It's, it's dangerous to ignore it. I mean, your heart? That's your eternity.